What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I have some leaked info coming from a data mine on the PC version of the game which includes some serious spoilers so you may want to turn away now if you don't want to know anything about this. Also before we start guys, do you want to win some epic loot? On this video I am giving away exclusive emblem codes, exclusive sparrow codes, gift cards and more. To win some simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server, linked within the video description. So the following details have come from a data mine on the PC version of the game and there are some seriously interesting things to talk about which have come from audio files which have like I said been data mined from the PC version of the game. I've been through most of them and will talk of the interesting ones I think you will want to know about so let's start. It seems as though Osiris will be located within the lighthouse on Mercury, the same place located on Destiny 1 for going flawless in the trials of Osiris. We have the Future War Court Dead Orbit and New Monarchy Vendors all talking about the lighthouse and you going there. Now I won't dive deeper into what's said here but let's just say there is no denying it. Osiris, the lighthouse and Mercury will return. That obviously though is going to be a part of the first DLC which comes December. There are also files of Saladin talking about the Sputin. These could define a number of instances and it would be speculation on my behalf to inform you of what I believe these meant. These are obviously referring to the second DLC coming next year. There's only about four or five audio files here but they are all of Saladin talking about the Sputin. Now a lot of the clues as to what's hidden here are coming from vendors talking of such places they include new places and planets as well as old places returning so let's start with the new the myriad is a place here mentioned a lot by all the vendors in the game some speak of secrets we need to find and report on within the myriad others state how they will help us get there and back safe so 100 percent it's going to be a new location for us to explore another place mentioned here numerous times is a place we travel to and explore called phobus You've got to have heard of this already. This again, I guarantee you by what's said here in these audio files will be a new place for us to visit and explore. Another place they speak of is a place called Ganymede, which is a moon. This again, I would assume is a new place coming soon. So returning places mentioned and people will be surprised here. They speak of the Cosmodrome. They speak of us visiting Ishar Sink within Venus. Mars is returning as well as the Dreadnought, also the Hellmouth which is located on the moon. They speak of all of these places in kind of like a reference to us visiting them, doing stuff there and reporting on the things we find. Now more about the Dreadnought and what's actually said here is seriously interesting. Here is one instance to go by from the Dead Orbit vendor who tells us to tread lightly on the Dreadnought. The future Warcraft vendor states, we have defeated Oryx but the Dreadnought still lives. Do your part in the fight against it. So again guys, it's pretty interesting to think of its return. There is also mention of Sparrow Racing League. So this event also seems to be returning which I actually quite enjoyed so I can't wait for that. A few other seriously interesting things mentioned here though are the Reef, the Prison of Elders and the Water Glass as well as the Black Garden. Like what? Here are a couple of lines the Dead Orbit vendor states but continues to bring you back to that vexed dimension and they say the Water Glass contains mysteries beyond imagining. What can you tell us of it? So whether or not it is a place we visit in the game there is definitely audio within the game that talks of it. So from this data mine there's some substantial information as to what this game will offer in the future. The mention of the old planets coming back doesn't come as a surprise to me, but the Vortal Glass and the Prison of Elders seriously do. I honestly cannot wait to learn more about adventures into these places and how they will take part within our Destiny 2 paths. Now I'm going to end the video on a shocker also coming from these audio files and that is of Cade 6. There are a few of these audio files talking about Cade's death. Basically most vendors within the game talking about Cade and his departure from the game. I'm actually shocked as to what I am hearing here. Amazing, epic but shocking at the same time. So so much information to take in and if you guys want to go through these audio files yourself you can. I will link the place you can find them within the video description so you can do just that. But yeah guys what do you think about what I've mentioned today? The old planets returning to me was always going to happen. The new planets from what I've learned sound amazing. Word of the Vault Glass to seriously get me intrigued for sure. All I know is that the content which is short at the moment won't be for long if they do deliver on the story being told from these audio files. It is important to mention though that these audio files, although were data mined from the actual game, it doesn't necessarily mean they will come into play. They could indeed be placeholders for future content or content that's even been scrapped. It's important to note that. 
But all I can say is that these are seriously, seriously interesting things. And like I said, if you do want to go through them all, you'll find a link within the video description as to where you can find them. But thanks as always for stopping by. Let me know what you think about the details I've covered within today's video. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.